In this gospel snippet, I want to say a few words on Acts chapter 16, verses 30 to 31. The jailer at Philippi asked a very important question. He put it to Paul and Silas. What must I do to be saved? Now, the all-important word there is saved. Whether the Philippian jailer really understood the full meaning of the word he used, I don't know. But I know how Paul and Silas responded to him, as any gospel preacher must respond. Salvation from sin, the guilt, the condemnation, the power, the polluting power, even the presence one day of sin, saved, delivered, rescued from it. For unless we are saved, my friend, we shall perish forever. So says the Bible, so says the gospel. Christ said it. Without trusting him, without being saved, we shall perish forever. Now, what must I do to be saved? There's some very important words there. What must? Ah, that's a very important word. The imperative, the essential, the urgency of it. Oh, that sinners would start asking this question. Oh, that they would feel it. I must be saved. And then the personal, I. And that's a very important aspect of this too. We're not saved in families. We're not saved in the mass. We're not saved in the group. We're saved individually, one by one. What must I do? The imperative, the urgency, the personal. Oh, I would have you have that sense of urgency and this personal uh, cry, what must I do to be saved? And yet, there's a big mistake in this jailer's question. Notice the word do. That's the natural man all over. Do, do. If we speak to unbelievers about Christ, they will usually tell us something like this. Perhaps you will say it. Well, I do my best. Well, I don't think you do, but see, I do. People talk about doing this and doing that. I go to church, I say my prayers, I read my Bible, I, I've been sprinkled as a baby, whatever, you know. I do, I do. Right, ceremonies, observations, efforts, decency, religion, respectability. It all amounts to doing, and it's all, let me use the word, trash. Oh yes, for there's no salvation in that way. Bible reading is not trash, praying is not trash, but reading the Bible to think that you're saved by it, praying to think you're saved by it, going to church to think you're being saved by it, that's a damnable thing. Religion is killing in that sense. No, no, no. What must I do? No, 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 no. Listen to the apostle as he answered. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Trust the Savior. That's what he means. Rely upon him, his blood and righteousness. Give up trying, not what these hands have done. No more, my God, no more I boast of all the duties I have done. Give up trying, give up doing, give up saying you do. Rest your soul upon Jesus Christ and cast yourself upon him. There's an urgency about it. What must I, yes, what must you do? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That doesn't mean just assent to him and say, I confess and I acknowledge that he came in the manger and so on. No, no, no. Rest your soul upon him, upon his righteousness, upon his precious blood. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. But I warn you again, there is an urgency about this. There is no time for delay. It is now. And I say this to you again, unless you do trust Christ, you will perish forever. You may trust religion. Oh, I'm a Baptist. I'm a Presbyterian. I'm a what or what. It doesn't matter. Unless you are in Christ, you will perish. So I plead with you. I urge you. I beg you. I beseech you. For the glory of God and for your own soul's sake, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Amen.